Kingdom Protista. Five Kingdom Classification. Diversity in Organisms. Biology Class 11. Last time, we studied Kingdom Monera. Now, we will discuss the next kingdom called Kingdom Protista. In eukaryotic organisms, the term, true nucleus, refers to a nucleus with all its parts. The nuclear membrane surrounds the nucleus, inside which we can find a semi-solid substance called nucleoplasm. Phytoplankton, also known as trance-like protists, are plant-like protists. Zooplanters are animal-like protists. Lastly, we have Mughal anoid, which we'll study in detail. Protists can be divided into four categories, photoautotrophs, heterotrophs, mixotrophs, and fungi-like protests. Only slime mold is an example of fungi-like protest. There is only one organism capable of being both autotrophic and heterotrophic. This means that it is capable of preparing its food in the presence of light, but if light is not available, it can obtain its food from another organism. Kingdom Monera, Five Kingdom Classification, Diversity in Organisms, Biology Class 11. The Kingdom Monera is composed of organisms that have only one prokaryotic cell. These organisms, known as monorans, can either be modal or non-modal. Unlike other organisms, monorans do not possess membrane-bound organelles, except ribosomes. Movement in these organisms is aided by the gliding process or flagella, and can be utilized by some monorans. These organisms can be classified into different types, including bacillus, rod-shaped bacteria, including key bacteria, sign of bacteria, and ancient ancient bacteria, caucus, spherical or round-shaped bacteria, including U bacteria, spirillum, spiral-shaped bacteria, including our demons ancient and well-organized bacteria, chlorobacteria, blue-green algae, or cyanobacteria, including blue-green bacteria. Monorans thrive as solitary organisms or in colonies with other organisms. They are an essential component of environmental ecosystems that aid in diverse metabolic processes. Kingdom Fungi, Five Kingdom Classification, Diversity in Organisms, Biology Class 11, Kingdom fungi is considered as a connecting link between unicellular and multicellular organisms. Its body consists of filament-like or thread-like structures. Fungi cells are eukaryotic in nature. With one exception, the body of fungi is made up of many cells, and that exception is yeast. Internal digestion means enzymes secreted inside the body break down the food, and nutrients are absorbed in the body. On the other hand, external digestion is the opposite. The food is digested outside the body. XCOM acid is a fungal body. Ficus mycetes, a term that starts with five, refers to two clans related to the plant and fungal bodies. Therefore, ficus mycetes will look like some form of algae. The term conocyte egg egg was previously discussed. The third fungi is called Celiomycetes which belongs to the Basidiomycetes group. It is similar to Escomycetes, which is present on the highway. The last fungi, known as Deuteromycetes, refers to the Taromycetes, meaning the fungal body. The next phylum is solid, followed by the kingdom Plantae. The upcoming video will focus on the study of Plantae. Students will choose one life out of the three fungi taught in this lesson, which is why they are referred to as temporary life forms. Kingdom Plantae. Five Kingdom Classification. Diversity in Organisms. Biology Class 11. The next kingdom that will be studied is the Kingdom Plantae. They are multicellular organisms, with some exceptions in algae. They have unique features, such as a cell wall made of solution, that are not found in any other organism. The Kingdom Plantae is divided into five divisions, Bryophyte algae gymnosperms angiosperms pteridophytes, also known as ferns, which are non-flowering plants. Kingdom Animalia is a taxonomic group that includes all multicellular, eukaryotic organisms that are heterotrophic and lack cell walls. Animals are diverse in size, shape, and behavior, and they can be found in almost every habitat on Earth, from oceans and forests to deserts and grasslands. The basic structure of animal cells includes a nucleus, organelles such as mitochondria, and a cytoplasm. The cells are usually organized into tissues, 
which in turn form organs and organ systems that perform specific functions. For example, the nervous system allows animals to respond to stimuli, the respiratory system allows for the exchange of gases, and the digestive system allows for the absorption of nutrients. Animals can be divided into two major groups based on their body symmetry, those with radial symmetry and those with bilateral symmetry. Radially symmetric animals, such as jellyfish, have body parts arranged in a circle around a central axis, while bilaterally symmetric animals, such as humans, have a distinct front and back, left and right, and top and bottom. Animalia is further divided into different subgroups, or phyla, based on specific characteristics such as body plan, presence or absence of a backbone, and other physical and molecular features. Some of the major phyla in Kingdom Animalia include Chordata, animals with a notochord, dorsal nerve cord, and pharyngeal gill slits, which include vertebrates such as fish, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Arthropoda, invertebrate animals with jointed appendages and a hard exoskeleton, which include insects, spiders, and crustaceans. Mollusca, invertebrate animals with a soft, unsegmented body and a hard shell, which include snails, clams, and octopuses. Annelida, invertebrate animals with a segmented body and a nervous system, which include earthworms and leeches. Cnidaria, invertebrate animals with radial symmetry and specialized stinging cells, which include jellyfish, coral, and sea anemones. Animals play important roles in ecosystems, including as predators, prey, pollinators, and decomposers. Humans have domesticated many animals for food, transportation, and companionship, and have also studied and learned from animals to develop technology and medicine.